and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. So Today, I'm going over what you need to be doing with your coins right now at Madden 20. Now, guys, just want to let you guys know before we get into this video and go over everything. As far as the giveaways go from yesterday, I will be announcing the winners for most of those giveaways as of tomorrow because I decided to give it two days to eat because you guys are still like the video is still growing and liking I guess still liking so I kind of want to do the giveaway when the liking caps out so I can give you guys the maximum amount of coins if I cap it now a lot of you guys are still like it won't be able to win so kind of like pointless although and, and don't think it's for me because like I'm still gonna get the likes anyways but I feel like it's better for you guys to get a bigger coin reward so I'm gonna be announcing them tomorrow so just stay tuned for that but guys we are about 70 subscribers away from 20,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel, you could, if you could so kindly, you could be the last 70 people in the before 20k gang. That but guys, as far as this video goes, we're still in Madden Limbo, but hopefully there was some content today. So hopefully this is the start of something else, and hopefully we can get closer to the Combine promo, and maybe the Team MVP, so that we can finally start getting into some other stuff. But what you want to be doing with your coins right now, guys, as you guys can see, as far as I've been going, I've used this time in these market crashes to kind of start building my team a little bit. Because with no influx of content, I can feel kind of content that I could relax, spend some coins, play some weekend league, build the team up a little bit. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family. We are still going to be doing the giveaway on this video. Now, guys, I'm upping the reward a little bit more, just a little bit because you guys are killing it and I'm going to be broke soon if you keep doing this. So today's, the way we're going to do today is same thing as usual. For every 70 likes that we get, I will be giving away 10,000 coins. So guys, we hit 1,000 likes on the other video. So you guys are getting a, like, I don't even know. You guys are getting like 200,000 coins. But on this video, we're gonna do every 70 likes. So all you gotta do to enter, guys, is like the video. Comment down below the number of like you are so I can verify you like. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel because obviously I wanna give back to a sub, not a giveaway hunter. And it's pretty much it, guys. So every interval of 70 likes, we will give away 10,000 coins. So 700 likes is 100,000 coins. And I'll be announcing the giveaways for the last two days tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And then for today's giveaways, obviously, it's just this. Now, guys, let's get into this video. So, we'll go, as far as coins go, guys, I think now is a decent time to start building some of your team. Now, I told you guys Legend Saturday was the day to do it. Now, on a day like, let's say, Wednesday or, like, today and Monday, I don't think today would be the ideal day. Although, we will look at it. My, my initial thought process is, like, things are cheap overall. But the best days to buy your Ultimate Legend cards, which I believe are your Endgame cards, are going to be on Saturdays, as per usual. See, like on Saturdays, these cards are like 210, like 210, 210, 210, 215. So that'd be a better day to pick up these cards. They rarely went up that much. Like, they went up enough to make a profit on them, but it's not like they're going to kill you. But I'd recommend you wait for Saturdays when it comes to building the team. So, in this time period right now, where we don't have as much, guys, I recommend you start building the coin stack. Now, we do have the new house rules. I'd recommend... You guys went ahead and you went to go play those because obviously those are going to be very beneficial in gaining some coins, getting some players, building their coin stack up because we are going to get a big promo soon. The fact that they haven't given us, given us the team MVP promo really makes me think that we have a pretty big promo coming soon. Obviously, the combine promo usually comes in about like 8 to 10 days from now. So that's obviously coming, but usually we get something in between them. We have not gotten a promo. Like Ultimate Legends doesn't really count as a promo in my opinion. Like besides the Super Bowl, we really haven't gotten a promo since then something like big that we can really enjoy here so i don't really know what's taking them so long i don't know if they're behind if they're slacking but guys for all you guys know at this point you should be building your coin stack up and as you guys can see i told i made it pretty close to you guys the other day about the the coin making method regarding how to make coins off ultimate legends as you guys can see trip Alamalu, i told you guys to buy him for like 210 215 220 and i said he would come up during the week look he's 268 he'd probably sell him at night for about 280 and make a quick 40 to 50k off him right there i told you guys that was a good method because things obviously do come up during the week and it'll only get worse if nothing else comes out the next few days now why are you building up your coin stack guys because there's gonna be more ultimate legends dropping this saturday but forget the promo right now there's gonna be more ultimate legends dropping this saturday and i do i do suspect we'll get a pretty big one i'm hoping for like a vic a dion or a lawrence taylor we usually get one of those by like the third or fourth drop so i'm hoping for one of the bangers or like a randy and if we can get one of the bangers we have not gotten a quarterback yet so we could be getting a vic but well, I'm hoping we get one of the bangers on Saturday, which should include, which does mean that the market should drop a good amount because guys, that's what typically happens. When we get a banger card, the market will drop quite significantly, especially like a Vic, considering he's going to be like what Lamar could have been if he was actually affordable. So I'd recommend you guys go ahead and you save up your coins for that because when Vic does come out, first things first, you're going to probably want Vic. And if you don't want Vic, that's fine. But on the contrary, what also going to happen is that 
he's going to be he's going to kill the market a lot so you guys are going to pick up guys like julius peppers for like in the 280k range probably paul mouth for the low 220s which is why i recommend guys during wednesdays like on the, the middle of the week you guys start selling some players because brand new ultimate legend drop should only bring the players down lower and as we get closer to the token reward of the free ultimate legend that should come down a little bit more especially if they're auctionable we're not entirely sure now, i had two tall jones guys super cheap for a limited time kind of upset about that i thought it'd be more expensive um yeah i use my power pass in them though so it's not of the biggest of deals right now as well as guys as far as coins go remember you can you have that 97 overall power pass so remember you do have pretty much a free card in the bank you could use it for the combine but i'd recommend you wait for a really good ultimate legend card like a vic a lawrence and dion and you drop them on there although they could introduce them as 98s which then just screw up that but still it's going to be the benefit i like to use my power pass to substitute a lot of coins that i wouldn't want to spend otherwise like sean taylor limited time card why i spent 600k 700k when he first came out instead i just went ahead and i tossed it onto him and same thing with ed tutel jones although i've been using him in ed tutel jones his, his stats on paper are amazing but he hasn't entirely played as great as i thought he'd play so i'm not entirely sure if i'm going to keep him just yet now moving on past like as far as what to be doing with your coins guys if you haven't seen my methods to make coins i recommend you go watch those videos i did drop three of them three similar ways to make coins get players i recommend you guys you guys go watch those after this video because those videos do help a lot in terms of getting your coin stack up but like i said we are coming close to this legend token i believe we have seven as of now by the end of this week we should have about like 10 or 11 so we're probably around like two to three weeks away from it it's really not that far and then we have the combine dropping in between then the combine should be when most of the like the most of the market really really comes down because the combine is going to drop super athletic players and if you guys know anything about madden the most athletic at the end of the day athleticism stumps a card stats like let's say ed tuto jones is great if they drop a new end with like a 94 speed he's now automatically the greatest end in the game doesn't matter stats i'm telling you that's how this game works so combine is going to drop the most athletic cards because typically people performed at the combine were the most athletic people there not the best overall nfl pros but the most athletic players because that's to complete those drills you have to have some kind of athleticism so the 40 yard dash winning like a chris johnson a tyree or a john ross automatically the fastest guys in the game broad jump gonna have like the highest jumpers in the game highest excel in the game those cards typically kill the market because they're gonna automatically be like every, every single one of them is gonna be a meta card you don't want every single one of them so remember that should come down a little bit which also i usually like to wait to pick up a lot of, i usually pick up a lot of ultimate legends after the combine drops because that is when a lot of them start to die down a little bit and then the combine cards also they're gonna be great value so i don't want to stack up my team just yet because i do expect the combine is gonna be some players so i'm doing this right here to help you guys save some coins here so as far as quarterback goes i'm rocking with Mahomes until i end up getting michael vick michael vick might be my quarterback for the year although don't get me wrong i really do love my patrick mahomes i've gotten used to him already i haven't had a pocket passer all year so finally getting one i'm getting used to him i'm really able to pass really really well why does he receive a lockdown for the year calvin tyreek and torrey hill i probably won't change that running back i'm kind of saving the spot for chris johnson i think i really want chris johnson combine card so i'm not going to spend waste coins there lineman center and left guard probably gonna go to and right tackle to go to open legends tight end we usually get some pretty good combine stuff and uh like vernon davis i kind of want a vernon davis combine card so i'm kind of waiting on that before i upgrade that and now defensively as far as between the combine and ultimate legends cornerbacks i'm like i'm gonna end up finishing the year with Dion nitro and lane and then probably like a patrick peterson there we always get a pat pete gonna be really really good I'll probably toss him in there for the rest of the year as far as linebackers go nothing too great out of the combine promo for in my uh in my history of getting cards out of the combine promo if i remember correctly safety i'm gonna be good for and then combine as far as that you could probably get like a jadavion Clowney. actually could probably be one although i probably wouldn't upgrade him over lawrence and then as far as ends go guys ultimate legends could easily fill up your entire defensive line in my opinion so in my so like to, to wrap it all up in my my four little tips here first off if you see your cheap ultimate legends you can go ahead and pick them up because they're going to be their end game cards if you lose 20k like i said if they go down a little bit you're still making your coins but if you're following my other method then no follow that strictly but if you're not a kai who cares to save and make you want to just spend your coins you got the green light pretty soon ultimate legend gonna be coming down say don't go all in on ultimate legends though because combine promo is going to be coming pretty soon and like i said they're going to introduce some crazy good players and the worst thing you can do is power up an ultimate legend player all the way spend all this training on him and then get screwed when inevitably there's a common player that's gonna be way more athletic and you're gonna want them three make sure you're building that coin stack up make sure to take advantage of the house rules it is offline so it's gonna be super easy you don't have to verse anyone online it's just all you gotta do is get yourself to play it as well as guys make sure that you're building it up with all those coins you're getting on those free players and using it smartly because we're getting to a point of man where there's gonna be a lot of great players in abundance you're gonna be able to really make your end game team i'm pretty close to my end game team i'm really not that far away quite honestly so i hope you guys are taking advantage of it the same way i am and guys, last but not least, just a quick little reminder for all you guys, make sure you're getting your Ultimate Legend Solo Challenges done. Remember, you only have to be playing the kickoff ones in order to qualify 
to get the tokens make sure you're getting that done because they do expire uh two days from now which is wednesday which does mean you're going to be really behind if you lose all those in terms of tokens but that's about it guys thank you so much for watching if you aren't into the channel make sure to down below hit that subscribe button guys we are about 70 subscribers away from 20k so if you're watching this video and you're new let's make it happen make sure to subscribe to the channel and remember to enter the giveaway all you gotta do is like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below the number of like you are every 70 likes is 10k so you guys know the drill Maybe we could break a thousand on this video like we did in the other one. It'd be pretty crazy. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.